my lovelies and welcome back to Art à la carte. I often get asked what hobbies do I have that aren't drawing or painting related. So I thought I would share one of those with you today. And that is miniatures. I love creating miniature houses and miniature rooms and things like that. It actually started with uh, polymer clay and making tiny little miniature foods. Uh, a couple years ago, I got a miniature kit from a store that had all the pieces and you built it together to make a room. And I think I got it halfway done. And then um, a little over a year ago, I purchased another kit. It was supposed to be like a boy's bedroom, but instead I wanted to make it look like an art studio. And, and I was just using the framework as the base and then changing everything. And I don't know that I, I think I recorded some of that process. But it's such a slow, time-consuming hobby that it's really hard to record because, I mean, you would literally have hours and hours and hours of footage and, you know, only have gotten so much done. So I'm still working on that. And then, not quite a year ago, I purchased a Glowforge machine, which is a laser cutting machine. And I knew the Glowforge was going to be bigger than that, but it is literally almost four times bigger than my than my printer. This thing is massive. That you can design things and it cuts it out of wood or acrylic or um, there's a few different things it cuts but mainly I was thinking about wood because I thought it'd be fun to design my own dollhouse furniture and uh, dollhouse setups and that's what I've been kind of working on. It's again a slow process. This was actually the first dollhouse that I made from my Glowforge. So it's actually not a full dollhouse. I call it my wall house because it hangs up on the wall. And the the decoration is mainly focused on the outside. So you can really don't have to worry about like the, the inside decor and all that. Though I think I did put a little bit of decoration. I think I put a lamp inside and a little chair and some flowers or something in the window. But this has been fun because it really helps me to just focus on the exterior and not having to be, get overwhelmed with, you know, 20 different rooms. I have a full Victorian dollhouse that I got at a garage sale with the intentions that I was going to revamp it and turn it into something super amazing. And I, I think it's just, it's so big, it's overwhelming. And when I sit down to work on it, I just don't know where to start. Like I've painted the kitchen and that's pretty much it. It's, everything else is raw. Um, so I, I enjoy this. If you've never gotten, if you've never jumped into miniatures and you have been curious about creating miniatures or at least testing it out, a small focus project like this, I think is a perfect way to start. So I don't, again, I'll do a lot of videos showing this process, but if you are curious to see more of my miniature work, let me know in the comment section below. Also, let me know what hobbies you're into other than drawing and painting. Uh, what are some of the fun things that you like to create? Whether it's artsy or sports or cooking. I do like cooking too. And gardening. I got into gardening. That's been fun. I'll go ahead and post a couple of pictures of the finished product so you can see that here. I've actually designed a couple of different houses. I know this was a quick video, but I thought, hey, I wanted to show you some of the things that I do when I just want a little me art time. So Anyway, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me in this video. If you're brand new to my channel, welcome. You can hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on future videos. And as always, God bless you guys. Keep being awesome, and we'll see you in the next art video. Bye-bye.